Hi everyone, welcome to today's session. As part of this session, we will be seeing how to create a calculated column in your calculation view. So most of you are aware, so we will have raw data in the database table, which will be present in one of the schema in your ANA database. So whenever we wanted to consume the table, we'll be creating a calculation view of different types. As you are aware, calculation view can be created in three different types, such as calculation view of type dimension, calculation view of type uh, cube, calculation view of type cube along with the join uh, node, right? So once we do our modeling right by building a calculation view there might be a lot of scenario wherein you may have to create a column dynamically means on the go mean to say you may have to create a column or a calculated column or a new column which is not present in the database table but you wanted to make use of the data coming from the database such as you have a unit price and quantity you wanted to multiply unit price and quantity to generate total price or else you might be getting data from multiple sources uh, uh, or uh, different regions of data is present in different tables so you are going to do the union when you are doing the union you wanted to create a calculated column indicating uh, each of the data is coming from which region okay so all the similarly you might wanted to create a calculated column which will give current system data as a one of the column or else you wanted to hard code and pass some constant value so come on guys let's start uh, today's session and see how can we create a calculated column in the calculation view Let me get into my remote server. So as you are aware, I am in a remote server wherein I have opened Anna Studio. I have a calculation view over here. And as you can see over here, this particular calculation view is having only three columns, uh, which is sales ID, quantity and unit price. So if you do the data preview as this particular uh, calculation view, you are able to see only two records because only two records are there in the database. Now I wanted to create a calculated column which is going to be the multiplication of quantity and unit price. Okay. So in this case 4 into 2 8 and 3 into 2 6 I wanted to have a new column. Uh, maybe I wanted to call that particular column as total price. Okay. So how can I do that? And if you see in your database table, you don't have any field called total column. You are going to create a new column, which is being generated by multiplying the value of quantity and unit price. Okay. How can I do that? You can create a calculated column either at the aggregation node or projection node. It's always better to have um, the calculation somewhere here so that you can also apply filter at the later point of time okay based on your requirement you can create uh, the calculated column either at this place or this place we'll also discuss in future session what is the importance and which, which scenario we'll go and create uh, the calculated column here or here for our demo purpose we are just going to create a calculated column on this projection node you have to choose your projection node and in the right hand side output uh, pan right you'll be able to see the calculated column option okay as you can see over here you have column under column you have already predefined column and there is one more folder called calculated column input parameter so in order to create a calculated column all you have to do is you have to right click on your calculated column click and say new when you say new it will give you a pop-up window wherein here you will have to enter uh, the calculated column name as a best practice it depends on project to project generally we will use cc underscore just to indicate it's a calculated column total amount and you can define what type of data type it is i will call this as integer or else we can go with the decimal also with the multiplication of quantity and unit price but where can i find those columns input columns if you see in the elements uh, below just below over here the same pop-up window if you expand you will be able to see the column either you can type it manually or it is always better to double click automatically it will come so as you are aware we have star as an arithmetic operator which is used for multiplication operation so what i am doing quantity star unit price when i do that there's a new calculated column created okay 
now i can propagate this particular column all the way to the semantics in order to do that what i can do right click and propagate to semantics so that uh, this particular calculated column will be added to aggregation node and further you see we are able to see the calculated column and under semantics also you can able to see so let us activate this calculation view there is one small uh, changes which you are supposed to do purposefully i have not done the changes so let us see whether my calculation view got activated yes it got activated if you right click and do the data preview and go to raw data you are able to see yes one yes one two two records we have created a new calculated column which is product of two and four and the second total column for the second row is 3 into 2 is 6. We are getting result as expected. But uh, there are cases where you might have millions of records with different attributes and a uh, set of KPI. You wanted to do the analysis. Okay. Assume that now you see the newly created column CC underscore total amount is being considered as an attribute, not the measure. Okay. If I drag and drop, see, ideally it has to show what? It has to show the sum of the aggregated value, correct? It is 8 and 6, 14 it has to show. But what it is showing, guys? It is showing 2. It is count of this it is showing because it's it has been treated as a attribute. So we have to ensure the newly calculated column, if it is of amount or quantity field, we have to change the property to measure. How can we change that? So you have to go back over here to your calculator calculation view. And uh, under semantics, right, in the drop down, see this symbol indicate measure. In the drop down, you have to change it to from the attribute to measure. Okay. Now you click save and activate. Once you do that, do the data preview one more time. This time, see your CC total amount is coming under measure. So you can drag and drop, you'll be able to see the sum of both the values. Got it, guys? And you can also go and see the raw data clear guys how can we create a calculated column in your calculation view so hopefully as part of this session you got to know how to create a calculated column in your calculation view in the next session we will also see couple of more example on this calculated column such as uh, how to remove preceding zeros how to add preceding zeros or how to add leading zeros or how to add spaces or how to concatenate different value or how to get uh, the current system data those kind of scenarios okay if you like this video please do subscribe to my youtube channel also in future if you want me to do a video on a specific topic feel free to drop that topic in the video comment section below so that i will be creating video on the same thank you so much guys and have a good one also if you are looking for online training on sap abap sap bw bw abap bw on hana native hana and HANA related SQL, you can always reach out to me on my mail ID that is venugopalmn1988 at the gmail.com. Also, you can call me on my mobile number that is plus 91 followed by 973998 3992. Thank you so much guys and have a good one.